Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. To my subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming back. And to the newbies, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the little notification bell next to the subscribe button so you do not miss a video from me. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. Now, I originally saw this on Maybelline Snapchat and I was like, Master Chrome? metallic highlighter I was too excited and plus it's affordable from Maybelline it just caught my attention immediately so I went ahead and purchased it I got mine from amazon.com this is how the highlighter looks they put the highlighter in this is the packaging it's pretty standard and it's in the color molten gold but this is what the highlighter looks like opened has a nice like square pattern rippling through the middle of it. I'm going to swatch this highlighter next to a couple highlighters that you may own so you can see how the color payoff is and how it compares to other highlighters. So the first highlighter is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. The second one is Max Oh Darling and the last shade is Anastasia Beverly Hills Soul Hollywood Illuminator. So as you can tell by the swatches, they look very similar. I feel like this will look beautiful on tanned to deeper skin tones. So I'm just going to go in with my Sigma E40 brush. This is a nice fluffy blending brush that I like to use to apply my highlight. So when I swatched this, it felt very buttery and smooth. So I'm just going to apply it to this side first. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you, got, do you guys see this highlight right now? The only highlighters that I know that can do this, the Wet n Wild highlight is really good. I didn't swatch that one today, but I'm sure you guys know what that looks like. But this highlight right here? So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So this does glide on the skin very nicely. So it doesn't have like glitter flakes in it. I'm trying to see and describe it to you guys. It's not glittery at all. It's a nice healthy looking golden sheen. It runs a little bit champagne-y on my skin. It's not really super golden, but it doesn't look ashy. So now I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with my setting spray. I'm going to use the Scandinavia setting spray. As of right now, I'm loving how my face is looking. It's looking nice and healthy and glowy. And I am loving this highlighter right now. If you are looking for an affordable highlight and you want to save some of your coin... I would highly suggest this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed already. Plus, I have other content that I made just for you. Do not forget to check that out. And I will see you in the next video.